Halloween broadcast. Well, you look at ABC in this game, he's been everywhere. It's as if he can get to the rim any time he wants. And in that first half, he wanted to quite a bit. And that's where his points were coming from. I mean, the defense has to do a much better job of challenging him at the rim. Ellis with it. On the court for the Mavericks. We've got Tyreek Evans. Nowitzki is out there with Jonas Valanciunas. Then there's Ellis. And it's Walker in at the one spot. Ellis can't get it to go. Celtics leading by 16. Thunder passes to the great. Rebounded by Valanciunas. Valanciunas has got his sixth rebound on the night. Walker with it. And it's Horford picking him up. And it's Walker penetrating, and it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. One shot. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. Celtic shooting indicative of smooth offensive play up at 60%. They're a machine from the floor. And Thomas, here we go. He kicks to Horford, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. Ooh, that's as forceful a finish as you're ever going to see out of this guy. Well, gee, it adds now to their lead in spectacular fashion. And you know, that lead's only going to grow if they're not prepared to defend a little more staunchly than that. The Mavericks have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. At the line for two. Shooting two. Shooting two. The first one falls. And so Nowitzki nails both of them. And for those of you tuning in, we're about a minute into the second half. Thomas kicks to Lewis, out to the right wing. Here's the great. The Mavericks pull it in. They'll be off to Charlotte for a game against the Hornets. And that'll be the last game of their very short three-game road tour. Passes it to Valanciunas, and stolen by Horford. And pushing it up, here's Boston. That one rolling around and rims out. Still a bit chilly from the field at the start of this third quarter. One of four so far. And now running up the court. Lewis pushing it up. Thomas gets the bucket. Well, that fast break went according to plan. Yeah, nice job there, Greg. Recognizing the opportunity was there to push it. And then excellent execution. And Walker kicks to Evans. 
That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. And that's now six points for Tyreek Evans. Thomas passes to Walters. There's the pick. A floater. That is good. And the Celtics lead by 14. And just a little bit ragged defensively there, Clark. Thomas against Walker. Feeds it to Nowitzki. It's tipped. With some arc. And again, Isaiah Thomas. Thomas got 11 points. And they've looked terrific in transition today. That's had a lot to do with their success. Oh, it certainly has. I mean, they've done a really good job recognizing any time they've had the numbers advantage, and then they've taken advantage. We've seen it time and time again here. Who is outside? Mavericks with the rebound. Alan Judas has got eight rebounds in this game. The drive by Ellis. Alan Judas trying to free himself up. Ellis can't get it to go. Austin leading by 16. Lewis dishes to Horford. Back to Lewis. Shot clock at six. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Horford no luck. And that's a well-contested shot. Well, we've seen him before. He does not allow you to just get easy baskets. He's always going to make you work for him. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Now a timeout called by Boston. some information for us, Doris. Kevin, the head coach for the Celtics had some instruction for his guys during that break. The strategy included running the offense through thunder. When coach addressed the guys in the huddle, his message was clear. Quote, he's who we want getting the bulk of the touches. He is who we want making our decisions. Those are likely not the last adjustments they make today, guys. There's still time left in this one. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks again, Doris. They've struggled against him in this one. Just no answer for Thunder. He has eight points, and he's created a lot of chances for his teammates also. And Clark, some of those assists that he's gotten today have been just electric. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. 84%. That, that's what he was able to convert on a season ago from the line. And guys, the numbers right, don't lie. Take I mean, he was such Take a break. reliable presence Three at shot. the free throw line all throughout last season. First free throw is good. And he makes both free throws. Mavericks trail by 16. Now, here's Walker. He's got seven. Screened by Valanciunas. The feed to Black. No one near him. A shot. No good. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. Uh, they've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. The Mavericks have gone three of eight so far in the third quarter, looking to lock in that rhythm. Thomas with the block. They get it back. Ellis kicks to Walker. No good with the triple. It's been a real difficult game for him offensively, and it's cost him. And Thomas, here we go. Rebounded by Valanciunas. Valanciunas has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Ellis outside, lets the three fly. The basket good off the assist from Evans. Evans has got five assists in the game. Watch out, now that he's got his first three of the half, there might be more in store. 
Lewis against Evans. Lewis misses. Mavericks trail by 13. Evans outside. It's deflected. And here is Thomas. 11 points in the game. Lewis, left side. Six on the shot clock. It's deflected. And it's the Mavericks on the break. Evans leading the charge. And they're able to recover. Dallas moving the ball around. That doesn't go either for Evans. And he's clearly just disappeared here this quarter, not making any contributions here with his offense. And, Greg, it's been hard to watch. I mean, you can see his frustration. He's actually looking forward to the end of this period so he can have a fresh start for the next one. Here's Walters. That's another one for him. He's fifth in just seven shots. Not phased at all by having a bigger defender on him down low, and I really thought he would be. You know, at first glance, you wouldn't think that he'd be comfortable in that particular situation, but, well, I tell you what, he didn't look like he was out of his element at all right there. Here's Valanciunas. That's good from 17 feet away. Valanciunas has got 10 points in the game. Thomas passes to Lewis. That one falls, coming off of Thomas's feet. Thomas got his eighth assist here tonight. And after his last game, really not surprised to see him as hot as he is here tonight. Walker dishes to Evans. Screened by Valanciunas. From the top of the key. And the shot falls short this time. You know, so many games are decided by which team wins the rebound battle. And that's held true in this one so far. And Clark, their effort on the glass has given them the advantage, but it's also been the effort in general that's made a difference. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Boston. Fantastic passing. We saw it in the first half, and it's carried over here in the second. I've been impressed with how well they've penetrated tonight, too. Here's what Boston's going with right now. Paul Pierce has checked in for the great. Johnson comes in for ABC. Marcus Smart's checked in for Thunder. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Isaiah Thomas. Mavericks trail by 18. And the foul on Marcus Smart. That is his first foul of the game. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Yeah, it looked like it. I mean, he kind of slid underneath as he got to the spot, too. And the Mavericks with possession here. Outside Hardaway. They get a hand on it. Stolen by Smart. Plays it in off the breakaway. Smart's got his second bucket of the night. Here's Berea. Pass to Valanciunas. He dishes it to Hardaway. To end the run. It's rebounded by Schroeder. Celtics leading by 20. Here's Smart. Nice pass. Right into the rack perfectly for the layup. Smart's got four this quarter. And this collapse we've seen by their interior defense, it's really the reason why they've struggled and are in such a hole. Just not happy with how his team is playing, and they just have been on the wrong side of this run. Yeah, and you know what, Greg? Sometimes just a pause in the action, which is what a timeout can give you, is enough to change things around. Dallas calls timeout. Here's Berea. Screened by Valanciunas. Here is Berea. The dish to Matthews. From past the arc. Good, and it's Berea who picks up the assist. Matthews has got five now. 
and, and they clearly are just destroying this group right now from the three-point line. Yeah, and the defense knows it. I mean, they are fully stretched out trying to stop the three-point shot and still haven't been able to do it. Johnson, a wide-open look, and they wasted no time getting those three points back. Seven points in the game. Back at you. I mean, they immediately get those three points back. Trading spray guns from long range. Trading blows from behind the arc. The putback slams it back in. You know, he's knocking down his shots today, but it hasn't really translated to the scoreboard yet. Schroeder kicks to Johnson. Picked by Horford to the left side wing. Smart passes to Schroeder. They set the pick. Left side Pierce, just five to shoot. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Berea with it, and it's Johnson picking him up. Berea kicks to Matthews. And it's Matthews again missing. And here come the Celtics again. Boston with the fast break. Johnson gets the bucket. Great job to hit his teammate on that move, Kevin. And here are the Mavericks now. Outside Matthews. The Mavericks rebound. Here's Valanciunas. Good work defensively by Horford. Boy, he really bungled that finish. Johnson outside. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Johnson. Well, let's take a look at last year's Dallas Mavericks and where they ranked in the NBA. Fourth in lowest turnovers per game. Ninth in points off turnovers. And they were in the top half of the league in free throw shooting. Not bad, but room for improvement. Yeah, but and the stat I look to, though, is the low turnovers. They did such a great job of limiting their mistakes, really maximizing their opportunities offensively. Hardaway kicks to Matthews. Outside for Berea. Here's Black. Dallas again missing. Boston leading by 22. Joe Johnson on the way, guarded by Berea. Johnson dishes to Pierce. That'll be Boston as it goes out of bounds. Celtics retain possession. Avery Bradley, he's checked in for Boston. Dirk Nowitzki, he's checked in for the Mavericks. One forty-four left to play in the third. Smart kicks to Johnson. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Smart's got four assists in the game. He's been one of their more reliable options today, guys. I mean, his shooting has led them to this lead. They set the pick. Here's Berea, and two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. That one on Horford. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without foul. Okay, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. First one falls for him. He makes one of two that time. Boston's gone two of three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Johnson down low, guarded by Valanciunas. Johnson can't hit. Well, he, he gets it in close, but you have to credit that stifling defense for forcing the miss. Exactly, Greg. I mean, defense like that really increases the degree of difficulty on that shot by a large amount. Here's Schroeder. 58 seconds left in the third. A floater, and Johnson lays it in. Johnson's got 10 points now, just in this quarter. The Mavericks shooting not looking uh, too good out there in the second half, right around 32%. To the paint, and stolen by Horford. 
And Smart with a clear path to the hoop. Finish off the break. Smart's got eight points. They're straying away from the three-point game here in the second half. And um, that's fine as long as they're on the lead and they're getting good shots. They've decided not to take nearly as many three-pointers in this half. 26 seconds left to play in the third. Shot clock at five. And it's Matthews again missing. Here's Schroeder. Matthews with the rebound. And here we go. Fast break. Berea's got it. There's the triple. Shot is no good. The three quarters of play all in the books, and this one all but over already. It's the Celtics just dominating this one. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. Yes. 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 Let's take them back. Welcome back as we get ready to start the fourth quarter. Not exactly a nail biter here, but you never know. The Celtics shooting has been beyond great up until now. How about 57% from the field overall? A moment now to reset the lineups. Brought to us by Gatorade. All fueled up here for the fourth quarter. On the floor for Boston. Gallinari is out there with Kelly Olenek. Then there's Dennis Schroeder. And there's Ian Mahina. And it's Bradley in at the two spot. Really, really good at recognizing the gaps and getting the ball to the rim. Now Berea kicks it to Bennett. The tray. It's good. Great play set up by Berea. Berea's got four assists now tonight. And he came off that screen, and the D just didn't get over the top of it. Yep, weren't there in time enough to challenge Greg. And when that's the case, you can mark those up for him. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. Here's Bennett. And he uses the glass on the way up. Bennett's got five points in the quarter. Nice pass. He got the ball right into his teammate's shooting pocket. On time and on target. Now, here is Gallinari. Guarded closer. And he gets it to go. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from inside the paint area. There's got to be a wall of defense when it comes to attacking the paint. Plain and simple. Maria, the pass to Bennett. Another three for Dallas. And, and really, the defense didn't do a lot to fight around that screen on that possession. Celtics leading by 22. Schroeder kicks to Gallinari. Three-pointer. That's good. Really in a good position thanks to the accuracy from beyond. Yeah, you got that right. I mean, you got it real right. They are lighting it up from beyond the arc this half. The pass to Bertans. He feeds it to Berea. Another three for Dallas. That's far too good a look to give them from behind the arc. Three of their last five makes come from beyond the arc. The defense has to react quicker. Schroeder kicks to Bradley. And he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. Dallas has gotten off to a great start from three-point range in the final quarter. They're a perfect three of three. Puts up a three. The shot is off. Now the Celtics take it the other way. Pass to Schroeder. Dishes to Olenek. The Celtics working the ball around now. And it's Gallinari missing. And you know what? His finishing ability is not really at the level that you would expect from a pro. But he's going to have to start playing with more force. Now a timeout called by Boston. Yeah, it looks like he saw some things out there that, that need to be adjusted. And he's going to take a break here and talk it over. Hey, you know, coaches sometimes need a break in the action to rethink and retool a bit. Anytime you, you're in that situation, it makes sense to use the timeout. 
So Boston ends up going with a new group. Celtics leading by 22. Thomas dishes to Horford. Shoots from the line. It's rebounded by Dallas. And that was a difficult shot from mid-range simply because the defense was engaged. Yeah, and I think the quickness of the closeout really threw him off. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Horford having just a fantastic game. He's got 10 rebounds and two steals. He's shown some flash with his passing and some grit with his board work. Yeah, not a combination that too many players in our league possess. All right now, gentlemen, two shots, two shots. First free throw is good. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. 100% since halftime? Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. And Al Horford drops them both. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Walker with it. He kicks it to Nowitzki. Lock at six. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. 14 points for Dirk Nowitzki. And I'll bet his percentage is pretty high from that range. Lewis outside. Back to Thomas. Passes it to the great. Shot off the screen. Boston again missing. For Dallas, they've gone six of eight in the field in the fourth so far. It's been a great start to this final quarter for them. Now
Close the pass to Nowitzki. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Nowitzki having a terrific night. He has 14 points, and he's made three shots at the foul line. And you've got to take care of business. Business at the free throw line, not just getting there, but converting. All right, now, gentlemen, two shots, two shots. And that one falls for Nowitzki. Both free throws good from Nowitzki. Here's Thomas. Pass to Walters. Right wing. Here's the great. Nice D from Nowitzki. And you saw how quick the defense was. They were ready for him. They got the hand in the face there and made that much more difficult. Yeah, and every team needs that kind of rugged interior defense because you want to try to distract your opponents when they get inside, and you also want to make them uncomfortable in their shot attempts. Lewis kicks to Thomas. through traffic and lays it in. You know, huge height advantage there, but because of the great body control, he's able to cancel it out. Agreed. The body control essential in that situation. I mean, if you're giving up a bunch of height, then you better be able to manufacture things in the air. Such a wide open look. And that's 17 points for Ellis. Boston leading by 20. Lewis passes to Walters. Horford in the post. Allen Junis is there. Horford, no luck. The Mavericks have gone 7 of 10 shooting the ball since the start of the fourth quarter. Here's Evans. That three off the mark. Can't get anything to drop. I mean, the way he's going, it's probably not something he should try and shoot his way out of. <laughs> well, they say you should shoot your way out of it, but his teammates probably have other thoughts in mind. The last thing they want to see him doing is Continuing to cast that jumper up. Nice game. Great performance by Isaiah Thomas. He's been attacking the rim with reckless abandon. They're searching for answers. Some way they've got to figure out how to contain it. And the Mavericks call time here. And it's a completely new group on the floor for the Mavericks. And so it's Dallas with it. Berea kicks to Matthews. There's the pick. Dallas again missing. And you know what? If you're the defense, you got him right where you want him. Let him keep shooting those threes because he's been brutal in this half. Thomas dishes to Horford. Lewis outside. A floater. The shot no good. Good D by Hardaway. Dallas has gone beyond the arc seven times here in the fourth and been successful three times. Here's Berea. Traps in the tray. Berea's got six here in this quarter. 
What a final quarter these guys are having from downtown, just burying the threes in bunches. And they might as well keep going back to the well. No reason not to. I mean, Great. work that perimeter. It's going good for you. Work it until it stops. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Well, once they recognized the advantage they had inside, it made a lot of sense just to continue to attack that area. There's a screen and the foul called on Tim Hardaway Jr. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Excellent example of toughness and physicality on defense. Got his nose right in the middle of things and made a play. Here's Thunder. Terrific design on the pick play. And he lays it in. Give an assist there, not for the pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed him up and made the layup possible. Berea kicks to Black. And he pings it home with one hand. Did not need two hands for that slam. You know, he can save the other hand for the next time. One will do yeah. just yeah. fine. <laughs> yeah, but just, just to switch it up a little bit. Lewis attacking. And that one's good. Now, here's Berea. Feeds it to Black. Wesley Matthews on the wing. Here's the three. Another three for Dallas. He's starting to feel it. He's in a groove here in the second half. Boston leading by 20. Thomas kicks to Lewis. The rebound by Bennett. Now that's terrific defense at the rim. Got right in his path. And you know they'll be conscious of him next time they take it inside, too. I mean, that's what really good defenders do. They make you think about their presence. Here's Hardaway. The kick out to Matthews. Hardaway against Thomas. Hardaway, no good. Boston's gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. 5 of 12. Thomas passes to the great. That one falls coming off of Thomas's feet. 14 points for the great. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Well, the defensive rotations, Greg, have been a step slow, and it's really helped them get that ball inside time after and time. Bennett. He has been fantastic this quarter, guys. It's just the kind of effort they need if they're going to continue to trim the lead. The pass to Walters. He's looking for Horford and finds him. Good on the shot. Horford's got four points this quarter. Yeah, you're making things far too easy for him when you let him get it that deep. I echo that. Ditto. I mean, you've got to do your work early to try to keep him out of the post. Fight him a little bit. Keep him away from that spot he wants. There's a whistle, and it goes on Isaiah Thomas. That is his first foul of the game. They set the pick. Hardaway with it. Now Thomas defending. Six on the shot clock. Stolen. I tell you what, they got a nice reservation for him over on the bench. If he keeps this up. Fourth turnover already. Thomas a screen. The feed to Lewis. Here's the great. Outside for Lewis. Pass to Walters. He dishes it to Thomas. With a floater, Black grabs the board. Black's got his sixth rebound on the night. And here we go. And it's good. Fought through contact. It's the shot. He'll go to the free throw line. Excellent work there in transition. Yeah, I think it's always better to go early in transition to attack when it's there because oftentimes you can beat the defense down the floor well Tim Hardaway Jr. in this one he's got 11 points and from long range he's hit one three-pointer and when it's all said and done I got a sneaky suspicion shot, he's going to have a few more so Boston ends up going with a new group That free throw good from Hardaway. 
Celtics leading by 19. There's a minute 40 left in the game. Shooter kicks to Mahimi. It's Pierce with the drive. An easy layup after coming off the pit. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. And how? I mean, they're taking this defense to task, taking them to school. Every one of their last 10 points have come in the paint. Misfires again, and the ball just refuses to cooperate with it's a tough day so far. And as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout, big time dominance, and, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for Boston. Agreed, Steve, and as one-sided as it gets today, you know, Clark, there were uh, some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. You're right, Kevin. It's hard to think of anything that didn't go right for them. I mean, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was spot on. And during the long NBA season, each contest important here tonight, tonight's win will give them four on the season. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with a win. And that next meeting, Greg, will be their second and final game of the season series being in opposite conferences. So you bet nobody wants to get swept even in a two-game season series. But I think the next game will be hotly contested. And so many key players that you could point to tonight, but in particular, a great game for Al Horford. There wasn't much they could do to slow him down as he was converting every good chance he got. Now here's Schroeder, guarded by Walker. There's the dish to Bradley. Here's for three. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. And it's Walker penetrating. Cannot hit. Bradley with some nice D. Johnson dishes to Schroeder. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team quite by far tonight. No question about it, Kevin. They certainly gave their fans plenty to scream and holler about. This place was rocking. It was on fire. And it only got louder as that lead got bigger. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the side. Doris. Well, Joe, congratulations on this win. This was a game where we saw plenty of great sequences, some nice runs put together. What changes for the team out on the floor when you guys start rolling like we witnessed here tonight? We just picked up our energy, energy and effort. Uh, you know, we was able to get some stops, got out of transition, stopped making a few shots, and uh, just kind of got contagious. Well, this was fun for us to watch, Joe. Thanks for the time, guys. Thank you, Doris. Great interview once again. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching. Now we'll go to the studio with the award-winning Ernie Johnson. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Many thanks, Kevin. So now we move on to our Jordan player of the game, Al Horford, with a strong double-double, points and rebounds. He was a force that was not going to be denied with his efforts both on offense and defense. Yeah, Al Horford put in some serious work bringing home this win tonight. He's always been the definition of a great two-way player, and when you've got a big man who's that versatile, it's a huge boost for your ball club. Well, his ability to get into the paint and get to the rim was deadly. For a guy who's mainly a perimeter shooter, it was remarkable how many of his points came right at the bucket. And folks, that'll wrap it up for tonight. We hope you enjoyed the game. For Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew, I'm Ernie Johnson. Have a good evening.